Hi, good morning. My name is Desiree, and I'm going now to my lab class. And we're here to uh, give you some tips for a safety lab. And the first thing to do is you need to wear uh, closed toed shoes, jeans, and then comfortable shirts. So let's go in. So the next thing to do is you need to put your bags in the proper storage, which is in the coffee hole. So nice. Just you don't wanna like just put your bags um, anywhere because you might uh, gonna uh, cause an accident. It's like this one. So you need to like put this um, in a proper storage. So. And also, you need to wear your lab coat. Because it's going to protect you from spills and like um, different chemicals. And also, when your lab coat like catches um, fire, so it's easier to remove. And also glasses, and it protects your eyes from splashes. And for the girls, uh, you need to tie your hair. This is the most important. Yeah. And for the girls, uh, you need to tie your hair. This is the most important. Yeah. Thank you, Desiree. And my name is Daniela, and I'm here to remind you that food and drinks are only going to be on this side. Before you start your lab, you have to make sure that your desks are sanitized and now I'm going to show you how to do it. So we have two bottles in here, one is water and the other one is sand salt. So you, won't, you want to use the sand salt because um, you can use this to sanitize whatever you have to clean on your table. And this is how you do it. And make sure you clean the edges too. And throw your garbage in the proper trash. And also, we have to make sure that no unauthorized experiments without the permission of our instructor. Just like these ones, we can't use them for any other experiments other than the lab activities um, scheduled for the day. Thank you, Daniela. My name is Amanda Yap. Um, I'll be focusing on equipment. So, we do not use any equipment without instruction first. Another thing is, we put things back where they belong. So if this was found originally on top of the microscope, that's where we would put it back. When transporting equipment, you would like to keep the glass speaker close to your body when you're walking around the lab. Also, place heavy items on the cart when you want to transport them. Alright, thank you Amanda. My name is Jeffrey and I'm here to talk to you about fire safety. If you step over here, you'll see that this is where we keep the fire blanket in case of small fires or big fires. You should just try to smother them out. But the best thing you can do if you can't reach the fire blanket is to stop, drop, and roll. And in case of big fires, you can also get the fire extinguisher and extinguish the fire inside the room. And also there is no running in the lab, but if you happen to be carrying something and you spill it on somebody, or, get, or it gets in their eye, you can come to the eye wash station and you can wash out your eyes for at least 15 minutes. If not, and you got it on your body, you can also use the emergency shower. And when you're done with the lab, please wash your hands for at least 15 seconds using soap so that no remaining chemicals will be on your hands when you leave. At the end of lab, we'll always clean off our desks and sanitize after we're done. And over there you see is the lab. If there is an emergency of an earthquake or a fire, we will exit the lab and go through this way. We will meet outside and wait for the instructor to give us a roll call before we leave.